अरे क्लास है मेरी तो होने वाला है तुम अपना खोल के बैठ जाओ Good evening, students. Welcome to the fourth session of Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. So, in our previous session topics, we have discussed about how we can present a slide show. What are the different views that we can uh, view on a presentation? How we can add the slide notes and how we can insert the picture. So. In this one, we have seen we can uh, click the icon that is provided just above the home tab, and uh, on clicking on that icon, our slideshow would be started. Then we have seen the different views that we can take on our presentation. First one was normal. This is a view on which we create our presentation. Then we have slide sort view. With the help of uh, that. we can sort our slide we can arrange them in a different order if you want or if there is a like incorrect order that we have created so we can uh, change that thing then we have this reading view in which we can uh, view our presentation in reading mode and we can see check if there are any you know changes need to be done then we can do easily then we have seen this presentation view or the slide show view Which is uh, the same like uh, this one, so we can either click from here or we can start from here. Only difference is when we uh, go for this particular view that we get at the bottom, then our presentation slide show will be start from our current slide. While in this case, it will start from the beginning. While in this case, it will start from current slide. then there was one other view that was outline view in which we have seen uh, all the outlines that all the text that we have added on our presentation we can easily uh, you know see them on the left side of our uh, powerpoint software that will help us to know what are the you know different uh, topics that we are going to cover and uh, what are the things that we are talking about so these were the five views that we have seen yesterday then we have seen how we can add the slide notes the slide note help us to you know add other information or additional information that we want to impart but we don't want to show it on our presentation slide so with the help of this we can do that or we can uh, you know write the thing so that we don't forget or we don't need to recall in case if we forget for those all those things so we can easily see from here cuz those notes won't be visible to the audience and we can easily check them then we have this inserting pictures so by this we have seen how we can insert the uh, images on our presentation so these were the topics that we discussed last yesterday let's see what we are going to learn today so today we are going to see how we can apply the animations on our presentation slide how we can insert the audio and video so let's begin with our today's session so basically what are the animation i hope you have heard this word earlier as well or you have uh, you know heard about animated videos or there were some things like that so animation is nothing but it is the ability to move the object like you have seen multiple videos in which you have seen some cartoon characters who are talking with the other characters or with and they are doing some act uh, differently just to make you laugh or to provide you the information so what are those so basically they are the moving objects so animation is the same the moving object like text graphics chart 
or etc on the slide is basically called animation for the presentation so in the case of presentation we can apply this animation second it also controls the sequence of flow of information so basically when you apply these uh, animation you would get some kind of sequence on your animation and they will be uh, applied in that order only that means after the first animation the second will start and then the third will start. and and so this is how it works then we have helps in making information more important basically when you uh, apply this animation it helps the uh, you know to make your presentations more interesting the audience to whom you are presenting they take more interest in your presentation as you provide them the information when it is needed but when you go for the click then only that particular information would be shown to shown or you can say that animation would be applied so in powerpoint presentation basically we have these four types of uh, animation effects entrance emphasis exit and motion part let's see what are these so in the entrance you will find that they will be shown like this appear fade fly in float in so these are the different kind of you know uh animations that you can apply on this entrance part so let's see and uh, check what are they so how you can go for this first we will see that so you would be at this home position then there is a tab animation this tab animation you would go to this animation tab over here you will get these animation so for that slide or first you have to select the object on which you want to apply let's say i want to apply on this particular image you can see there is a drop down arrow you will click on the and then you can see these are the different animations that we are getting so in the entrance we are seeing this one while we have other as well So let's see. Uh, these are the entrance one. Then we have this uh, emphasis. They will like pulse, color pulse, filter, spin. That means it would be like move around. Grossing is like it will come in a smaller and then grows to the bigger. So this is the different one. Then we have this exit, which means like in a uh, entrance you see. So it is like fly out. Earlier we like flying, so it would be like come and then go out and then it will present under. Split, wipe, shape, wheels like it will round something like a wheel. These are the different uh, animation in this exit. Then we have motion path. So for the motion path, we have to you know drag our cursor. We will point it one, then we will drag it to some other location. Something like this, and then something this. So this is the kind of motion path. So if we set that, so it will be you know run in that. So if you select this line, it would be in a straight line. If you select some arc, then it will be in a arc format, something like this. If you choose this custom path, then in that case you can define this one. Now let's see how we can apply the animations to an object. So whenever you are going to apply an animation to any object, what we have to do is these are the steps that you have to follow. First, you have to select the object. Then we will go to animation tab and click on drop down arrow. So the arrow, you, there will be an arrow at the bottom of the animations, and we will click on that. Then our complete drop-down, that is all the animation that can be applied, would be available. Then we can select animation effect will appear. Then we can select the desired one, and the object will have a small number next to it, so that it has an animation. Also, that small number, I mean that number would be there, which which represents that particular. you know animation that means it has an animation and also it shows what is the sequence number of that animation what does that mean is basically when you apply the animation so it might be possible that you apply your animation on multiple objects on the same slide so in that case it is necessary to know that which would be the first one that means let's say if i have applied the first animation to this then the then this one and then let's say this one so when i will come to this slide so this line would come as the first one then the second line would be this one then third one would be this line and the fourth one would be this one 
this is happened just because the sequence of your animation if you don't apply any animations on any of the you know line then that line would be there and uh, the rest of the line will come only when you will start the animation so to understand it more let's see the practical let's say we have uh, you know this slide over here i have this information so basically these are the four things on which i can apply the animation Let's apply four different kind of animations on this. Let's apply this floating on this first one, and then I apply an animation on this particular event. Let's say I apply this uh, grossing on this, and uh, then let's say apply a third animation to this one of this uh, exit one, and then let's apply. A fourth one to the where the let's say some kind of shape. Okay, now we have applied all the four animations on this uh, fourth slide, and you can see there is a number next to each animation that we have applied. This is the first one, this is second, then there is third, and there is fourth. Now let's see how it will work. How it will work? Basically, uh, I mean. Now, when you will present your slideshow, so you can check. As of now, this four information coming. Okay. Now let's go to our presentation mode. So when I click on this, you can check the first animation that was applied. Okay. Come to this. Let's see. Now this is my first animation. Okay. This is. The second one. Then I did so. This one was the third one animation that we applied, and this is my fourth. So you can check that the sequence of animation was the same as I have applied. While it should be like this was the first information. I'm sorry. While you can see. This is the first, and this is comes with this one, and there was an image which was with this one. So it should be in order something like that. But we have applied the animations in a sequence like this is our first, this is our second, this is our third, and this one is our fourth. So the order in which we have applied this animation, so it is presenting our information in the same way. So I hope this uh, animation thing is clear to you. So this is how you can apply the different animations on the object on your slides. Now you can also see that this is there. Apart from that, there is an animation pen. So when you go over there, so you can also check over here as well. That which one would be your first one? So this is the first one. Then the text box. This one is second. Then we have picture, which is third one. Then we have again a text box, which is fourth one. So this is how you can. If you go for here, so you can also apply from here. Now I have started from here. Let's say I start from this. Let's play. So you can check the first one, second, third, and this is. Good. This is how your animations work on PowerPoint presentation. Now we have the next topic is how we can add the audio to our presentation. so we can easily add either a background music to one slide or a sound effect to another and even we can also record our narration or comment what does that mean is it means if you want to record your audio and then you want to edit on your presentation you can also do that or if you simply want to add some audio you can go for that also let's check how we can go to audio so let's go to home then we will go to the insert tab in the insert tab there is an option of audio you can see that audio option is here you will click on this on the this below and you will get two options either record or audio on my pc you will click on this audio on my pc it will ask you to you know select the audio file you will select and then when you click on insert that particular audio file would be inserted let's check if i have anything
which I want to add this audio, I would insert it. So okay, this particular audio is not being supported on this. Let's try something else. Check if this can be inserted. Okay. So basically, uh, as of now, I think I don't have any audio file which is the supported format. So from here, you can you know add that particular audio file from there. The format would be uh, I hope the dot mp3 and all might be that uh, song so that would be in different format. That's why it is not added. So you can simply add it. So once you click on it, it will ask you to select. You can select, and then once you add, it will present something like this. You can choose when. Whether you want to do it as an autoplay or you would be playing, it is up to you. So you can do that also. Then, if you want to record an audio, so for that options, what we have to do is we will go to audio and we will start doing the record audio. You can check over here; it is displaying us that this one is your recording. Button. If you click on this, then it will start the recording. This one is play. Let's say if I click on this, now it is recording my voice. If I stop from here, so we can stop it with the help of this button. When I click on this, that particular recording would be stopped. If you want to play, so you have to just click on this one. Let's say if I click on this, now it is recording my voice. If I stop from here, so we can stop it with the help of this button. When I so I hope you would have listened that recording. And uh, now let's uh, close this one. So this is how you can uh, record your own voice on that particular slide. So you will click on this, then this dialog box will appear. When you there would be a record button, you will click on this button, and then the recording would be start. Whenever you feel like okay, you want to stop, so you just click on this uh, button, and that particular recording would be a stop. Just to check whether the record your voice has been recorded, you will you can check with the help of this play button. Okay, so this is how you can insert an audio either uh, from your PC or you can record your own voice. Now we will see how we can add a video. So similarly, like we are adding a audio file, we can add a video as well. For that, you would have to, you know, uh, either you can insert it from a uh, PC or you can go for online. So we are going for a PC one. You will click on this, then you will, uh, you know, select your particular uh, video file, and then that particular video would be added. So let me check if I have any video. So again, we will go to the insert tab, then we will go to video on my tab. So oh, I have this one video. Let me check if that is working. So you can see that my video has been added. Let me do it in a small. Okay, and let's go to the presentation view. You can check that this video is coming, and uh, let's play this video. The animations have been applied, so that's why the video would be on the first one. Now you can see that this video has been exported. So, so this is how you can add a video and you can play on your presentations as well. So in this uh, particular These are the controls that if you want to set it something like you will start somewhere else, you want to mute it, so you can manage that option. Clear. So this is how you can add a video on your slide, and uh, that's all for uh, today's topic. Let's check with our uh, uh, exercise that we have for this uh, PowerPoint presentation. So these are some uh, questions that uh, you know we are going to check whether what we have learned. So the first one is which function key is used to display the slideshow. So I have told you that there is a shortcut that if you want to start with your current slide or 
if you want to the beginning so if you want to start with the beginning then you will press f5 this is the shortcut key to start your slide show while if you want to start with the current slide you will press shift plus f5 this key would start from the current slide while this will start from beginning clear yeah. now the next question we have in which view do you get the outline outline page so as i told you the name itself suggests so what that you want that was outline yep yeah. then we have on which tab you find the screen recording option we have seen although we didn't uh, you know talk about this topic so there is one more thing that you can do a screen recording as well and i hope when i was inserting something you would have seen that option like over here we went to the insert tab and then you can see there is a option of screen record so by this you can record your presentation as well so that you can provide in a video format to the audience if you are feeling uh, uh, uncomfortable by presentation so you can record your presentation and just provide it so that comes in your insert tab that the ability to move object like text graphic chart on the slide is known as so that is we have learned today only that is animation here yeah. then we have which view display a miniature view of all the slide of presentation when we talk about the miniature that means we will see our slide in a, a smaller view something like this multiple slide on a single pane or something like that. so we have seen there are there is a view so let me remind again by one by one so in a outline view we have seen we will get all the outline that what are the things we have added in our presentation while in a reading view we have seen that it will present in a big, bigger pictures like something in a slide show view and we can easily read from there while the normal view it shows our slide in a normal pan we get uh, the big slide on the right side while the other slide will come in picture in left side. so there is just one left that is slide shorter so in the slide shorter view we have seen that our slide will be shown something like this so that we can easily rearrange them without going back to each slide or without moving to the next slide and then copying from there here and there. so this is how we can you know sort our uh, i mean we can see the miniature view of our slide so that's all for today's topic so today we have learned how we can apply the animation so there were basically four types of animation that we have seen that is entrance emphasis exit and motion part while the entrance one brings your uh, you know the object into your presentation emphasis just keep it over there and uh, provide some emphasis like something it will may do or shrink your object something like that while the applying the exit one it will take your object from the slide out of the slide and then we have this motion path in which we have seen that particular you know your uh, object can be in a moving shape something like uh, in a circle shape or in a line one or we can have some custom path as well so these were the different you know motion path for the object then we have seen how we can insert audio so there are two things so either we can uh, insert from to our pc that means you have an audio file and you can directly insert that or you can record your on audio so you can record your audio and you can uh, you know add that to your particular presentation that also helps you like if you are feeling uncomfortable while speaking in a public so you can simply record your audio in a you know while you are making a presentation so just to reset at that time you can record your audio on the that particular slide and then you can paste that record your uh, your audio over there and when you are presenting you can simply play that on so this is the one thing you can do and then we have seen we can how we can insert the video the same option while in the video we have either we can insert it from my pc that means i have some videos on my pc 
and then we can you know add those or otherwise we can add some online videos so this you can provide the link of that particular uh, video uh, it will ask you and then you have to provide the url and then from there that particular video will be added so this is how you can add the video so that's all about the powerpoint presentations 2016 that's all we are uh, we have learned we have seen how we can make a presentation we have seen the different operations that we can apply like we can open how we can open how we can save how we can save with a different uh, name and then we have seen how we can create our presentation what are the different layouts that powerpoint presentation provides us what are the different uh, you know objects that we can use how we can uh, you know change the layout or change the design of our current slide so this is how all we have seen then we have seen how we can arrange them that means how we can delete a slide how we can make a duplicate of a slide how we can uh, you know just copy and paste the different slides or how we can arrange these were the some of the uh, basic operations that we have seen over in our second session then we have seen in third session what are the different views uh, that uh, can be uh, you know seen in this powerpoint presentation we have seen how we can uh, see in a outline view in a normal view or in a reading view plus also how uh, if you want to plot our uh, slide then there is a slide plot view by which you can easily arrange our slides as well so these were the different views that you can check then we have seen how we can insert the pictures on our powerpoint presentation then we have seen how we can apply in today's session we have seen how we can apply the animations on our objects and how we can insert the audio and video so this uh, this is all about the powerpoint presentation so now let's end with, uh, it with our uh, today's fun fact so today's fun fact is uh, uh, i hope you know what was the first name of this as of now we know that it is known as powerpoint presentation but do you know what was the first name when the software was developed so the original name or you can say the first name that was given to this software was present this was the original name that was used for mac os for which uh, this particular software was built and i have told you in my first session that it was developed by robert gaskin and dennis austin these were the scientists or these were the developers or these were the engineers who developed the software in 1987 and just after 3 months seeking its popularity and its usability microsoft bought it in 14 million dollars this was the price that it, uh, you know on which they have bought the presenter software from them so the company on which they worked upon was Procter this was the company at which these two engineers or these two developers made this software so i hope you have enjoyed all the session and the information that we have shared must be useful for you guys keep looking to the learn forward app and uh, keep writing to us your queries your questions your feedback and your suggestions that all are value valuable for us and we are definitely going to answer and going to improve our session based on your feedback and suggestions thank you guys be safe and keep learning